This review looks at three versions of the 5000 series Unimog. This version in blue is model number 91120. And now let's give it a respray. The white version of the model is model 91140. And let's go for another respray. And the orange version is model 91165. Yes, it's competition time. Now watch very carefully, each of the models gets its own outer cardboard shipping carton. And which one shall we open? So keep watching carefully, will it be the blue, will it be the white, or will it be the orange? Keep one of your three eyes on each of the boxes and watch very carefully. Will it be the blue, the white, or the orange Unimog that comes out of the box? So are you ready? Let's now choose one of the boxes. Blue, white or orange? Place your bets. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And orange is a winner. If you picked orange, well done. If you didn't, <laughs> Once removed from the outer protective carton, we have an NZG branded box and it's got a genuine Daimler license on it. Let's open up the box and we see then that the reason there was an outer shipping carton is that the model is contained within a Perspex display case. And the packaging does a good job to make sure it doesn't come out scratched or damaged. To display the model, there is some packaging inside the display case, so let's take that out. If you have sharp eyes, you'll have noticed that the canvas top was secured by elastic bands for shipping. So to take those off, we need to unscrew the model from the base. It's easy enough to do, there are only a couple of screws. And then you can take off the elastic bands. But be careful how you do it, because the elastic bands could fly off and clip you on the ear and send you howling around the room. Of course, you may just be the kind of person that goes howling around the room anyway. And if you are, then keep taking the tablets and hopefully you'll get better soon. If we take the top off, there's a last little bit of packaging to remove and that's a piece of cardboard. And then the model can go back in the display case. For the model, there's no assembly to do because it is... Complete out of the box. For the detail we will look at the white version. It seems to be all metal and the four wheel drive transmission is fully modelled. The Unimog is a rough terrain vehicle and the high ground clearance is modelled. And the robust tyres are mounted on metal wheels. There's no number plate on these generic models. But one of the interesting details is the high air intake which allows the Unimog to travel through deep water. The Unimog has a high metal content but the door mirrors are plastic. At the rear there's a towing hitch and the lights have plastic lenses. The load box is reasonably detailed with a textured floor. The plastic top has some texturing in the top surface but the sides are very plain. The orange and blue versions of the model are almost identical but interestingly they do have a different casting of the cab roof. Let's start by having a look. Hang on a minute, White Unimog. You've been in this video more than enough already. As I was saying, let's start by seeing how the Unimog rolls, and it rolls well. And if we pick it up, each of the wheels turns independently. At the front, the steering is very good, and it reaches a sharp angle. So let's see how it performs at cornering. Hang on a minute, White Unimog. Out. The steering works well, and another very good fit. Get out. Another very good feature is the fully sprung suspension, although there's no twist in the chassis. Look, I'm warning you. The other feature on the model is the box cover, and that is removable. If we go to the back of the Unimog, there is a towing hitch, so let's try and hook up a trailer and see how that works. Here we're connecting up a Notaboom drawbar trailer, and although it's slightly fiddly to engage, it does work. Oh no, not again. Out. Come on. Out, out, out. These are very nice high quality Unimog models by NZG and they have a typical high metal content. The presentation of them is very good because they have their own Perspex display cases and the Unimog is itself an interesting machine. Overall, these Unimog models are highly recommended. Thank you.